Hey, Will here. I wanted to shoot this video because I'm going to do something brand new on the channel. Honestly, I'm kind of getting bored with making videos on generic topics. And I know uh, when I go to Ed or I go to YouTube and I type in like Etsy, I get a whole bunch of videos. Some of them are good. Some of them are nothing but fluff that don't really provide any value whatsoever. I mean, they have a great looking thumbnail and it's a guy like going, hey, and pointing at the thing or a good looking girl on there. But honestly, it, Etsy videos on YouTube are, they're a dime a dozen. Um, I wanted to do something different and I wanted to challenge myself. So I figured what better way to do that than do the Etsy AI 100K challenge. So I'll introduce that in a second, but let's go to Etsy real quick. I want to show you what I'm talking about. So for those that know me know I kind of come from the uh, print on demand world and I've spent a lot of years in there. I've done over seven figures with print on demand products. I've done very, very well. I do like print on demand still. There's nothing wrong with it at all, but with artificial intelligence coming out, and offering this ability to make these products that we couldn't make in the past without paying a small fortune or being like a graphic designer or some kind of artist. And I'm talking about digital files. Um, now we can do it. So if I go to Etsy and I type in digital, you're going to get a lot of results here. You're going to see digital planner has 6,838 monthly searches. Digital, just a keyword, has 8,516. Digital prints, 4,276. Digital art, 4,433. Digital products, digital download, digital stickers, digital paper, digital journal, um, digital wall art, digital art prints. There's a whole bunch of digital products now that are being sold on, on Etsy. And I love it because uh, I'll get to that in a second, but the shops that are selling this stuff are kicking some serious butt. Like they're making big time sales. So when I go here and I look at the page, it's gonna give me some results for mine. But I do know of one store in particular that I do want to show you. And you've probably seen this store. This Heather Roberts Art. So I'm gonna go there. And did I mean the shop? Yes, I did. So look at this. Seven thousand seven hundred. 93,797 sales. All she sells is digital files. So she sells, uh, what is it? SVGs, PNGs, JPEGs, and stuff that people can use for their Cricut, or stuff that print on demand sellers can use in their designs. So think of it that way. So for like a buck, here's a Toucan SVG. If I go here and I go to I'm using Everbee, product analytics, just on the front page. Well, actually, let's go to all our listings. I'm going to analyze all 4,029 listings. And look at this. This retro Valentine's SVG one has over 1,000 sales. So I'm going to go to it. Look at that, 448 reviews. It's uh, a bundle of SVG files that say, like, hello, Valentine. Love, Not Today, Cupid, XO, Y'all, Thick Thighs, Valentine. So there are, it's a zip file. It's got like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 in there that I can see. And that's it. That's what she's selling. And then she does a demo of like it on a shirt. There's more. You get a zip folder, seven file folders. All the different types of files are in there. And she's just showing how you can basically print this out and you can put it on into a frame you can put it onto a t-shirt you can put it onto a sweatshirt you can put it onto a tote bag or a baby one it's a digital download though so it's instant so it costs a buck which is you gotta think is like dirt cheap but let's go back to her shop here for one second she sold like almost 800,000 of these that's crazy so I'm going to do something at the end of this video. Remember, 793797, okay? That's just one example. And even her description says SVG cut files for Cricut fonts and watercolor clip art. 
but there's a lot more that you can do with digital downloads besides just this, although this is really easy to do and you can do this and I do this as well. Um, the benefit of digital versus print on demand, and I'm not knocking print on demand, it's really good, but uh, I'm gonna put this over here. So I'm gonna do the Etsy AI, meaning artificial intelligence, 100K challenge, right here on the channel. So digital means there is basically no base cost. So if I'm selling a t-shirt or a coffee mug or a necklace on Etsy, it costs me money on my credit card to do that. So it, it, it only gets charged when the order takes place, which is nice. So I'm paid up front, then the supplier charges my credit card, then I get paid from Etsy, and the difference is what I keep in my account as profit. There's no base cost with digital. There's also no processing time, meaning I can sell for like a holiday, if it's Father's Day or Mother's Day or Christmas or whatever it may be, Valentine's Day, I can sell right up to the date. And that's when the most people are searching for those products. Whereas print on demand, there's a cutoff date, which is typically about two weeks before. That also means no upset customers because they get instant, instant downloads. So as soon as they buy, they can basically click it, download it, they got it, it's perfect. There's also no wrong sizes. So one of the things, if you're selling t-shirts or sweatshirts or whatever it may be, you know you're gonna get returns uh, because people bought the wrong size. And what can you do with that return? Nothing. You can't really do anything. You, you basically eat it. So you end up with a huge collection of returns. It's not fun at all. So the solution I think is digital. And back a few years ago, I tried doing this digital route and I couldn't do it because um, you had to either be a designer or have access to designers who would do all these like files for you and then you could list them on your Etsy shop and, and it was really good. Now you can do that with artificial intelligence. So you're using AI to create the files, you list them on your Etsy shop and you sell them, they're an instant download, it's awesome. So it's a complete different ball game. I can't wait to start this. Uh, the problem that I've seen a lot of people have is starting from scratch is really hard. I know that too, any business that I'm pivoting into or looking at or adding to under my portfolio, uh, starting from scratch stinks, it's not easy. So I'm gonna show you how you can start from scratch with this business and have it do very well. Um, Focus is also hard and accountability is hard. So for me to focus on something is difficult unless I'm accountable. So right now, me announcing this, I'm accountable to you. Uh, and that's kind of my solution is this Etsy AI 100K challenge. How long? I don't know. As long as it's gonna take. It could be uh, six weeks, it could be 12 weeks, it could be 24 weeks, it could be, uh, who knows, 48 weeks, it could be 52 weeks, it could take me a year to get there but I'm gonna keep going until I hit my goal. That's the key. So if I do it, awesome. If I fail, no problem. I'm gonna learn a whole bunch of new stuff along the way. The only way for me to know if it's gonna work or not is to actually take action and do it. So the plan is every Friday, right here on this channel, I'm gonna release an update video where I'm gonna show you like what I did and then I'm gonna tell you like the stats because what you did and the stats are the most important thing. So you'll see the numbers behind all that action that I took. And that'll include like um, the listing fees, the transaction fees, processing fees, any ad costs that are involved with that because I will be running ads, of course. If you don't run ads now, you're not really gonna do very well. So the plan for week one, is gonna be simple. I've got a whole list over here, but I'm gonna create a listing. Uh, we need to do that before we even start the store. I'm gonna start a dedicated shop for this, not a general store. I'm gonna to need to come up with a name, check the trademark, check with Etsy, get an email address, get a logo, get a banner, um, fill out the announcement section, the kind of story section, the FAQ section. I'm gonna use ChatGPT for a lot of that too. So that's one AI tool that I'm gonna use. The other one that I'm gonna be using is Midjourney. Um, let's go back here for one sec. So remember, 793797. 
So I'm, all I'm going to do, it's been about five minutes. Let's hit reload. 793-799. I can't remember what it was at. I got to go back in the video here. But point is, she's made sales as I've spoken over the past, like, what, start of this video. Wasn't it 797? I think it was. So that's like two sales in about 10 minutes. That's a sale every five minutes. That's pretty good. So what can you do now? Well, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'm just going to provide you with updates. Uh, I hope this motivates you to start your own shop. And I hope that uh, my shop takes off real quick because that way I look like a hero. Otherwise, I'm going to look like a dumbass if I can't make this work. Anyway, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We'll see you in the next update, which is coming up Friday.